What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome back to our North Texas Mean Green Dynasty where we're going to be taking on the emus today. I finally get to get my first look at the silver field. Um, I have 10 points for our coach to use. I don't know what I want to use them for. I feel like I should have done that before I set up my scouting for the week because I actually just scouted a bunch of people. Yeah, you know what? Let's finish off this one. So I do want to go after some cornerbacks. I'm not concerned about running. Like, I'm not going to invest heavily. I'm not... Not for one position. Like, a halfback where I'm going to get, like, maybe one a season. That'll be a later on thing that I do. Same thing with linebackers. Honestly, we got Big Papa Pump. We got some good linebackers. I'll make do without having the bonuses. So that's fine. I don't care about that. I think I would rather go, like, the increased starting interest. I like, especially, like, D-line, like, going into the next year. I think that's what I would rather go into. But I think from there, now I just want to focus on developing some. I definitely want to bump up quarterback. But again, these are all off-season ones, so... Yeah, it doesn't really benefit us until you get to level 3, basically. Because we're not having anyone drafted in the top 3 rounds, so I'm not worried about that. I can't t I mean, Tactician is great. But that's sort of like endgame stuff for me, I think. I don't think it's something I want to do right now. I want to make sure I get my recruiting and everything done first and like develop them i have cleaned up the recruiting board a bit i've gotten rid of some people who i felt like we were wasting points on griggs i took his i wanted to fully scout who we're going after so we got a big lead here i can go ahead and put those points back on him next week it won't be a big deal Wentz, we got a big lead on for the wide receivers so we actually got a few wide receivers we got the two d tackles i kind of want to put them together we got Shermer at center howard at right guard we're going after tulane's gonna be fighting us for him I'm okay with that. We don't desperately need him. But I'm also hoping, because we got the hard sell available, I'm guessing time to work because we got A-plus playing time, and if we are if we hit on that, we are going to run away with him. And if we don't, then we don't. Bullen, I just took his points away. Again, he's a four-star gem free safety. I absolutely want to get my hands on him for a long-term replacement at either of the safety positions. But I took his points away this week, so I could use that to scout... And then the halfbacks, Davis here, I'm a little iffy on. He wants championship contender, but we did jump Bama. So I'll take my chances with him. Again, I don't think anyone here is impressive, but we need to get at least one in to hopefully build up. 92 Excel, 89 speed. Not the best, but he's a receiving back, which is what I like. 79 catch. He's damn near a half, like a wide receiver, so I'll definitely take that. Dre, we do not have him fully scouted yet. He's a power back. I figure if I can get my hands on both of them, which isn't necessarily likely, but look at the big jump we took on him already. But have them, and we'll have exactly what we have right now with Ragsdale and with Evans. Uh, the five-star wide receiver we took the lead on over Mississippi State. Because, again, A-plus playing time. So, sure, I'll absolutely take a shot there. He is... He's incredible. 6'6", 90 XL, 94 speed, 98 jump. He's incredible. Like, absolutely. Absolutely, I want to get my hands on him. And then Reddick, just another wide receiver. If we can sign three, that's great. But I, if we, like, I would love to get Brissett. But I'm not really sweating it. And then, like, I think I kind of want to go after the defensive ends just to get someone young. Even at normal development... So Saturday and Isaacs, I think Saturday, we already got a bigger lead, so I guess I'll put him up the board. But if we can get our hands on one of them and just like, just to have someone there, like even without the better development, knowing that they'll be replaced later on down the road. LeKerkerker, I'm sorry I gave up on you, bud, but uh, do you want championship contender? We ain't competing with those schools. So I'm going I'm to let you fly. Same thing with Clem, like uh, Ole Miss is running off. And I just haven't cleaned up the rest of them down here. Scales is still kind of on the board, but... I guess we could see what happens with Howard here. If it doesn't work out, then uh, Scales could be the next best option. A couple of green teams here. Obviously, they play in a silver field. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, we have a better, apparently a much better defense than offense, which is wild to me because that's not how I play. I'm just apparently that bad. But an 85 overall defense is pretty solid. That is mostly carried by our secondary, though. 
But I think we'll be, like I said, long-term prospects are looking good. But short-term, it's going to be a little iffy. Also, yeah, we'll just go with the green pants. I don't want the black pants today. Oh, they are wearing green. I thought they switched their uniform over to gray, too. Okay, well, I like the, the dark green with the silver. I like that. I don't... Oh, the field. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I guess whatever makes you stand out in the Mac. Although, to be fair, I'm also... I gotta be on record somewhere. I hate the Brooklyn Nets gray court. So maybe it's just gray as a field that I'm not a fan of. That five-star freshman has better hands than sides those right now. And he's not that much slower. That If we can get our hands on him, I don't even care what his, his dev trade is. I'll just take that even as a senior. Even if he never improves, he'll probably be starting for us the entire time. Good broken tackle by Carnez. And that drag route picking up a big first. This might be the arsenal here. Oh. I hit circle, but apparently I just mistimed that one. The run worked out anyways. Ran into too many people. There was an opening there, but I just couldn't make it work. That underneath was wide open with Evans, and we pick up the first. Keep the chains moving. Also, they have a player called Llewellyn, which is hilarious to me, because they're green. And that is my DuckTales humor for today. I regret the green pants. I thought they were gray, that's why I went with green. Oh god, it's all gonna blend together for me today, isn't it? Alright, they flung me forward for a third and one. I would really love to learn how to make the proper read on the read option, though. This was the correct read this time, anyways. Alright, well, Cherry there. Three yards on that one. Offense starting off real solid here. Wilkerson had him with their back turned to him, but he couldn't break off the tackle. I'll take third and two. And we'll go back to the read option, apparently. Oh, he, he got us at the last second. I thought we had the speed. I don't want to try this field goal. I'm not going to do it. Not from this hash, not from 45. And I don't want to sim it. I'd rather just do this. Oh my god, Carnez had the entire defense <laughs> fooled. There we go. Carnez has... Is that seven on the season? There's no way he has seven on this drive. No, absolutely not. I've been running the ball more. Good cut by Ragsdale. Bring that up inside. We're at seven yard line. First and goal already. Wanted to test those legs out. They're quick, though. He's definitely got some impressive speed if I can, like, get out there with a clean pocket. But he's not as fast. Oh, we got to stop short. Coach wants to go for it. So do I. Come on. There we go. Ragsdale had to fight in. I saw everyone lined up. I'm like, I, I trust Ragsdale, but this might be too much even for him. No, in for the touchdown. That's right. Crown yourself, bud. Come on. There we go. Third and seven. Beautiful. He goes to take off, and down he goes for the sack. Defense making quick work of him. We're going to get that ball right back. Oh, I kind of thought 77 was going to go upfield. That wasn't his blocking assignment. That's on... No, that's, that's not on him. That's on me. Again, they're just leaving his drag route open. Nice blocks, picking up the first down again. Ragsdale having himself a day too. 36 yards on the ground already. I feel like I'm not going to get anything here besides Wilkerson. Yeah, I should have lofted that one instead of bullet passed. I knew better and I still decided to try it anyways. Come on, big pop of pump. No, he broke off tackle, but we slowed him down enough. End of the first quarter, up 7-0 on the emus, but we did just throw a pick. Whoa. 
Okay, Williams, you kind of missed that tackle there, bud. <laughs> that blitz worked out perfectly. Ran right in the big bop of pump right there. Alright, third and 11 here. I love they're giving me their kicker stats already. You can have that. You can have that. Alright, defense bails me out. They're going to pin us inside the 20. That's fine. 15 yard line. I can work with that. Honestly, I got Landon Sides, the one man, the one play touchdown machine over there, so. Doesn't matter where you put me, I'll figure it out. Yeah, Wilkerson's just a threat out there because he's fast enough at tight end where they're going to play a linebacker on him and he's too quick for that. Oh, Ragsdale doesn't have the hands. I want him to get the catches, man. I want him to do good. I'm going to put sides on a streak because why not? Because it's just going to take people downfield to get away from Wilkerson. He can get the third and one. Ragsdale fights, pick up the first, keep the chains moving. We are not a high-powered offense right now, and I don't want to be. No. I just wanted to try the scramble out to the right. It was first down. I figured if I ever was going to do it, it would be right there. But the way they shed off the block on the tackles now is a lot different than it used to be, so it's not that easy. I, was say, I got three offensive linemen to block one dude. Come on, there we go. Ragsdale pick up a first down on that screen. I tried to give it the sides on the screen. It didn't matter because I'm still going to pick up nine yards on that. Evans is starting to get worn down. He's getting his workload for today for sure. Alright, well... Cherry didn't hold his block, but he is a tight end and had a lineback or an offensive lineman, so that makes sense. Nope, oh, I didn't spin in time. Third and eight. Coach wants another screen pass. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, good cut there, Ragsdale. They <laughs> got once again. He is great for getting us inside the ten yard line. We just got to punch it in now. Oh, actually, if I had to scramble a little bit quicker, this would have been a lot easier, but I'll take that. Ronnie Bass in for the rushing touchdown. I had all the time in the world to start scrambling, and I didn't even think of it. Yep. Yeah, he's quick. I will say, he's got option king. We don't have the regular option plays. We got plenty of read options and RPOs. We don't have option plays at all in this playbook. So I might have to investigate something different here. <laughs> he was bouncing back and forth. I thought I had a good angle on him. I just got straight up thrown on the ground. Uh, he just trotted past instead of attempting a tackle, I guess. I, I guess... I gotta balance out the diving tackles with the standard tackles. I think is where I need to get to. There. That was a good diving tackle. That was awful coverage. I guess my linebackers are probably more run stoppers than anything. So it shouldn't really be that surprising. <laughs> there we go. They can, pa they can rush the passer too. All right, well, they took a little draw play. But what are we having on? Two-minute warning thing needs to go away. So it's still third and 14. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to... Nope. Eventually, we're going to get him down. Fourth and 11. We pushed him all the way out to the other hash. Still a pretty makeable attempt, though. Yep, they got it. Take Evans, that'll dump off for seven yards. We got plenty of time. I don't have to take deep shots yet. Just don't make a stupid play. Corner strikes are where I can make a stupid play, so I'm I'm already paranoid. Now 
No. Third and three. They might not see the deep shot. They're, they're seeing the deep shot happening here. Never mind. Damn. Well, I'm nothing if not stubborn. Fourth and three from the 32 on our side of the field. Who is Smith and why is he running this play? All right, there we go. Okay, that wasn't a slide. Carnez with the fumble. Yeah, they're going to fall right on that. That's not the time to do conservative, but now I'm mad because the defense sucks in these situations. So they're going to get a score here. They're not in scoring range, but unless we get a turnover, they're going to get a score here. Oh, I thought we were cooked. He didn't put any air under that pass, though. We got lucky. They're just about in field goal range. They also got two timeouts, so I don't think they have to even think about just settling for that. And he overthrew him. Never mind. Watch the fake. Now they punted it. Okay. See, they're smart. They're not playing single high coverage at all on us. Oh, we ran in the back of them. Special teams gave up a big return on that punt. If I had known the special teams defense was going to be that bad, I would have just, like, run a draw play and killed the clock. And I'm guessing someone roughed the kicker. Yeah, they just declined. I was hoping they'd accept it, actually. Stop them from scoring. Well, going to the halftime, up 14-6 on the emus. It could be going better, but it could be going worse. They fumbled the kick. We're, uh... Right in good position. We're already in field goal range. Okay. Special teams, they got one back. I'll take that trade, man. I'll take that trade. Also, I'm going to do this now because I'm paranoid. And we're going to put this on conservative. Oh, never mind. I was going to run it, but nope. Sides is coming across wide open on a slant. So never mind. That could have been a rushing touchdown too, but... I'll take the sure thing right there. Quickly, quick, that is the quickest capitalization. <laughs> they fumble away the kick, and we are right in for a touchdown. And we're going to extend that lead to 21 to 6 here. There we go. All right. He gets two yards. That's fine. He gets no gain on that one. I'm all over this. I don't think Big Boppa Bump gets uh, credit for either one of those tackles, but he was in on all of them, so it doesn't matter. Halfback's winded. And he threw, he threw it out, yeah. His dump-off man was too winded. Quick three and out by the defense. Again, if we can capitalize and put some points up here, we'll really be comfortable. But I can't, like... We can't do something dumb where we're trying to salt away a victory and then a turnover and we make it a close game. We've been killing with these screen passes today. I'll give this one a shot. Come on, set of blocks. There we go. Perfect. Good patience by Ragsdale. I can't spin with him. I need a power back with a good spin move, and I don't think those exist. I think those are contradictory statements. Aw, oh, Carnez with the drop. Nah, I got faith in these guys. I really might put sides over back on that side. Uh, can I take... How do I motion you? Whatever. Ragsdale got the first down anyways. I know I have to change people to motion, but I don't know what to do from there. Cherry actually, with if I had followed the blocks the way they should have been, Cherry pushed him out, and I had a gap. I gotta get better at, like, recognizing where I'm going. I'll take that. He hits the hole as quickly as possible. I'll take the one yard. 
God, if I had four verts as an audible right here, you'd be screwed. And we're back and forth down. Coach, stop suggesting the punt. People have said try the QB sneak. I'm going to try that. Not right now. I will try that when I'm ready. Because historically, QB sneak has not gone well for me. It has been a TFL every time. I'll take that. That's getting me the same yardage. But yeah, every time I've tried QB sneak in Madden and anything, I just end up getting tackled for a two-yard TFL. So, that's why I don't bother. Oh my god. If that was Evans, he might have been gone. Ooh, even sides dropped that one. Never mind. There. Arsenal picking up eight yards. I've... I'm so glad I hot routed him to a slant. And we convert a third down. I'm like, I let me look at Wilkerson on this RPO. And then I, I chickened out. And I should have thrown it to Wilkerson. There was no one near him. Oh my god, that corner strike. That <laughs> sides dusted him. Second receiving touchdown for him today. Yeah, dance on him. Further extending this lead. A couple fourth down conversions in on that drive, but that will be a 22-point lead, assuming we make this. I can at least make my PATs consistently. I feel like calling the blitz here was a mistake. It was not. I mean, it didn't get there. Alright. Run defense has been pretty great today. Why didn't he scramble? I thought, I'm like, oh man, I just got cooked. This guy's going to take off. He could have walked to the first down right there. And he threw it out instead. It's not that he threw an incompletion. He threw it out. Hey, the first punt return of the season goes for nothing. I am not good at kick returns yet. Good for, run for Ragsdale. We have a good enough lead where I'm comfortable going two clock for a little bit here. Because, again, look at the wear and tear on Ragsdale. I just got... I had, a, a, like, a great running lane there on the left side. I had a pulling guard to follow and everything. And I kept running into people. Oh, my God. If you call a play with emotion and you're on two clock, they give you a few extra seconds. I didn't realize that. Carnaz with the drop. We're going to have to kick it back to him. Our punt coverage is awful. So they're already past midfield. But it's okay. We got a sizable lead here. Nope. Ooh. I'm like, oh no, I blew the coverage on him. And then he just stiff armed me out of my shoes. So never mind. End of the third quarter. Up big 28-6 on the emus. Let's not, let's not choke this one away. All right, let's see. Fourth quarter, I would assume we don't see as many running plays, but I've been wrong a lot before. Oh, I popped him and he dropped it. I'll take that. He didn't drop it that time. Oh, there's a run. They're going to give him the first, but he gets not much more than that. We got time on our side here. That's the best defense of all. Oh, it was a I thought it was a halfback screen. It was a wide receiver screen. I'm like, that's weird. It looks like a screen pass, but then <laughs> the halfback just chop blocks someone. No, it was a wide receiver screen. Ah, oh, big pop of pump. Oh, no. He pulled a hammy. I will say, anyone blows their quad, I'm renaming them to Kevin Nash. That's just the law. Like, that's uh, that's not on me. That's not... I don't get a choice. Oh, I took control of Starling. He whiffed the tackle, but that's on me. And they give him forward progress, too. But, like, one of our best defenders is out hurt, so, like, just do what you can, guys, I guess. Yeah, the runs are still on the feet. No, we'll, we'll substitute you out. Technically, we're substituting him out for someone who's better anyways. 
Read option. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Again, I'm not sweating if they score, but make them work for it. We got them in third down. Big Papa Pump's already back out here after I told him he could take some plays off. Damn it. I was, I'm like, oh, Starling's been popping that ball out all season. Not this time. And they're going for two because the math. Big advantage to us if we can stop them, though. But we didn't. Okay. I've seen teams go for real early onside kicks. I would rather, because our kick returns suck anyways. I'll take the touchback. Yeah, their run defense is getting stout now. So we got to... We gotta keep this ball going through the air. Sides going a streak. I just want to see something. I should have waited. One deep safety with that cornerback is playing pretty far off. Oh, the throw on the run was there, but <laughs> Evans couldn't hang on. And once again, we punt on the ball, and once again, they're close to midfield. What kind of zone is that where Starling is supposed to be on the opposite side of the field? Thank you! That kind of coverage where Starling can make a big play <laughs> and kill a drive instantly. I'll shut up. I'm not doubting him anymore. The, the training results speak for themselves. I was just curious about that play call. But it all worked out. We injured one of the emus... Ragsdale pushing that pile. I feel like they definitely faked an injury, though. They got a free timeout. We could have been, like, underneath two minutes right now. That guy got so aggressive trying to break off, or uh, shed the block, that he forgot that I was running right past him. All right, Evans, here's the deal. I, we just need a field goal on this drive. Don't fumble it. We're in the same position we were in last week, except we got it on conservative ball carry. Inside the two-minute warning now. So I'll start using timeouts. Second and eight. I will take that. We keep the ball centered. Ragsdale's at risk for injury. Ragsdale pushing that pile. I was more focused on keeping that ball centered. I probably could have fought more for a first down. Let me... This could backfire real bad, but we have a two-possession lead, not one. We play to win the game! We fought! We got that! Okay. Whew, that felt good right there. <laughs> like that clash in the middle. Nah, it's alright. I don't have to try for a field goal if I can just kill the whole clock right here. One yard. We don't have to play defense again. Nothing. We just click X. We take a knee, and that's ball game. Oh, we really need to get better at capitalizing at the opportunities that the defense puts us in. Because they had set us up. We should have blowed them out. There should have been at least two or three more touchdowns today. But I'll still take a 14-point win on the road. That's 2-0 now. Both road games. I know they're not the best opponents. Like, I understand they're not good schools. But we're a young school who's still learning. That's a true freshman. Yes, the halfback's a senior. Offensive line is what? Two or three true freshmen starting? Like... We are young everywhere. All of our impact players are young, and we're still pulling off these wins. Final stats, Ronnie Basco is 19-32, 185 yards, only 59% completion percentage. But I can work with that. You know, still trying some stuff out. A couple of drops today actually were hurting us, but two touchdowns and one pick is not bad. For someone who's supposed to be a scrambler, but those, those legs are moving today. Rushing Ragsdale, 124 yards on the ground, only a 3.8 average because they stuffed us that fourth quarter they were stuffing us he did have a rushing touchdown at least evans at seven for 23 two broken tackles for him and bass at four for 13 and a touchdown carnez at five for 41 he did he had three drops i mean it was it was just a defense they were defending those drag routes real well so i'm not even mad at him for that i probably should have thrown it somewhere else evans at three for 13 sides at three for 46 two touchdowns not getting as many catches but making them count every time Wilkerson, 3 for 22. Ragsdale had 3 for 52. Big screen passes for him. Arsenault had 1 for 8, and Cherry had 1 for 3. Dixon with 8 pancakes. He's listed as center. What do I got him at? Left guard? Just like he was last season. 
Fredrickson with six pancakes. He's working out real well. Yeah. He sure is a bust. Sohn, Wilkerson with four pancakes. Wilkerson, I was not expecting pancakes out of you, my, my guy. Like, I was not expecting that. Garola with three and a Blado had one and gave up the only sack. Nelson leading the way with eight total tackles. McCoy, Goodson, Big Papa Pump, and Florence Phillips all with seven apiece. Big Papa Pump, three TFLs, another half sack for him. Woodyard with two TFLs. Florence Phillips with two TFLs and the other half sack. McCoy had one fear TFL for a sack. Goodson and Schaefer both with TFLs. Starling with the pick today. Wazlowski forcing a fumble and scooping up two fumbles, so he's making damage on kick returns, I'm assuming. But that will wrap this one up. We scored nothing in the fourth quarter and still won by two touchdowns. I'll take that every time. But, yeah. That'll wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm out.